I have to sacrifice Thrag Tusk. Inside was a smaller pig. Yeah, inside Thrag Tusk was a tiny pig. There are two pigs inside us all. Yes. I believe they're feral hogs. Inside of us are 40 to 50 feral hogs. <laughs> wow. I'm bursting at the seams. Yeah. I'm bursting at the seams with hogs. Where do you buy your pants? <laughs> Old Navy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome! You made it down the stairs between the bushes and past the sign that says no! And you found the Elder Dragon Social Club. This month on Elder Dragon Social Club, we're back to our old tricks spinning the wheel of pre-cons, but this time we've upgraded the wheel and we've got 40 pre-constructed decks on there to choose from. We also invited our very good friend Voxy out to play some games with us and let me tell you, it was high speed mayhem. But before we get to that high-speed ridiculous game, a big thank you to our sponsor, CardKingdom.com. Go over to your web browser and type CardKingdom.com slash EDSC. And if you got to order any singles or sealed product or anything else that they sell, it lets them know that, one, we send them there, and two, you like watching this and seeing this kind of content, which is good because this is the kind of content that we want to make. And if you like the kind of content that we make, why not check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Then you can just give us money directly if that's your jam. It's kind of our jam. We like paying people and for our electricity and all that good stuff. And speaking of good stuff, why not also head over to store.loadingreadyrun.com since you're already sitting at your computer and check out card sleeves and t-shirts and other things that we sell. But you know what, actually? Do that after you watch this game, because it's really fun. And now, over to me. Thanks, me! And now, Foxy, since you're our guest, please go ahead and spin our wheel of pre-cons. Okay! Heavenly Inferno, Kalia of the Vast. Wow. Oh, oh gee. <laughs> That's like one of the first ones, isn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Oh, neat. Okay, sick. And hopefully this next trick won't make you sick. Camera. How do you feel, Adam? Great. Movies have been lying to me this whole time. Well, there you go. Don't trust anything you see. Adam, spin the wheel. All right. Come on. Blue deck. Riveteer's Rampage. Ah, close enough. Oh, it's Henzi. Oh, yeah. Henzi's a degenerate. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Speaking of boys, this one's next. I remember everything. Do you remember spinning the wheel? A thousand years ago. Well, do it again. <laughs> Adaptive Enchantment. Estrid the Masked. Have you ever played that deck before in your many lifetimes? I don't know what any of those words mean. Excellent. No ill effects. But just to be safe, since I have a family, I'm going to spin my wheel from here. I have a family. I have two cats. And I'm playing Feline Ferocity! <laughs> Meow. How perfect. Let's go to the game. <laughs> and now we are here with color coordinated, nicely sleeved decks. And because Voxy is so efficient, she not only spun the wheel first, she also won the die roll. So tell us about your commander, Voxy. I am playing Kalia of the Vast. Uh, I'm going to get out some very large angels and demons and also dragons on the battlefield, hopefully in a cheating sort of way. So we'll see how that goes. I was always told that cheating was wrong. Well, you were lied to. Oh, okay. Probably well. by cheaters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, cheaters. Who are you playing? I am playing Henzi, uh, quote unquote toolbox, Tore. Uh, I think that's a nickname. Uh, it's a Jund commander, and it's a 3-3. Three, three, and each creature I control with mana value gr or four or greater has blitz. Um, and also, every time I cast Henzi... From the command zone, my blitz cost reduces by one for the entire game. So every time he dies and comes back, my blitzes get cheaper. That sounds remarkably like cheating. No, 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 no. 
cost reduction mechanics are never cheating. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's symmetrical. That's true. My blitz costs also yeah, get yeah, cheaper, blitz right? Blitz costs are all cheaper. Yeah, right? Everyone's blitz cost gets cheaper. <laughs> yeah. Cameron? All right. My commander is Estrid the Masked, who is a planeswalker. Wait, you have a planeswalker? Oh, yeah. No, this is going to go great for me. I can already tell. She comes in with uh, three loyalty. She casts for one generic and uh, the full band. Her plus two ability reads untap each in each enchanted permanent you control. So, you know, I assume that there's like some kind of Ophidian effect or curiosity effect. Mm -hmm. It's going to go great. Um, minus one to give something totem armor with a mask token. And her minus seven is put the top seven cards of your library into your graveyard, return all non-aura enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield, then do the same for aura cards. That seems fair. Yeah, it, it seems well thought out and balanced. Not cheating at all. No, no. 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 I have cats both at home and here. I'm playing Arabo, Roar of the Wild. And uh, he has eminence because he's a big fuzzy boy. Uh, he says, at the beginning of combat on your turn, if Arabo Roar of the Wild is in your command zone or on the battlefield, another target cat you control gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. And whenever another cat you control attacks, because they're just playing, <laughs> they just want to make friends, they're bored, uh, I may pay one green white. And if you do, it gains trample and gets plus X, plus X until end of turn where X is its power. What? <laughs> That denotes who is the arch enemy. What? <laughs> it has eminence here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> Those cats are going to be huge. Well, Me playing an honest blitz deck. <laughs> Kathleen, eminence. Cameron, planeswalker. <laughs> yeah. She's useless. <laughs> I think the only way to settle this is battle. Yeah. Go ahead, Voxy. All right. I will draw for turn. That's actually very convenient. Planes, go ahead. Mm, okay, draw a step. Ooh, all right. Uh, I will play this foreboding ruins tapped because I do not have a swamp or a mountain to reveal. I see. Or I don't want to give you that information. <laughs> Writes down swamp or mountain <laughs> yeah, question, question mark. mark. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, Cameron. I put an island into play. And then I say go. Any soul rings? You know what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. I have yeah. nothing to do with it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just played a rule. spell. Yeah. You played a soul ring. I float two mana. Nice. I yeah. passed the turn. Uh, I thought you were going to be like, I float two mana, arcane sickness. <laughs> oh, I wish. That would be sick, yeah. Mountain pass. Mm. Draw step. I will play a Thriving Moor tapped. When it enters the battlefield, I get to choose a color other than black, so I will choose green. And go ahead, Cameron. <laughs> I win! <laughs> First blood goes to Cameron. <laughs> All right, snuck it past the five hole. Flow to blue, and then I play this Selesnia Sanctuary, returning the island to my hand. Mm. Then... I will discard <laughs> this soul snare. Oh. Okay. Is that something I should be worried about it being in the graveyard? Uh, I mean, you you know as much as I do. Yeah, okay. That's you fair. know as much as I do. Cam's popping off. He's got stuff in the yard. Yep. Easy soul ring. <laughs> <laughs> Pump the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't cast anything. Yeah, with the it doesn't soul matter. Ring yet. Well, that's okay, because I'm going to play a Plains. Yeah. And I'm going to use the uh, four mana I have mm -hmm. to play a Hedron Archive. Because you know what? <laughs> More mana. Yeah. Uh-oh. We're ramping. Yeah, we I still, are ramping. I literally nothing to cast at that. But... Soul Ring. Shivam. <laughs> yeah, Shivam. Uh, I haven't banned this card yet. It's actually ridiculous. Uh, I can't believe it. <laughs> So unbelievable. I just every time I play, I get more upset because I realize they haven't banned Soul Ring from the format yet. <laughs> you know, Hedron Archive is like a Soul Ring, but it does more things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very unfair. Yeah, it's just the power creep in this game is getting out of control. A draw. I'm going to play a Command Tower. Uh huh. I'm going to tap three. I'm going to play a Dark Steel 
ingot or ingot? I have no idea. Ingot. 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 Yeah. There you go. And it's indestructible, and I can tap it for any color of my mana pool. Indestructible. It's like a better pass. soul ring. It is. Can't believe they haven't banned dark steel ingot from this format yet. Draw stab. Okay, I will play a command tower. I will tap this for black, red, and green, and I will cast my commander. Henzi enters the battlefield. Nothing happens. It's a 3 3. Go ahead, Cameron. Untap, draw the same island. And then I will cast Ever Watching Threshold. Uh, it is an enchantment that reads whenever an opponent attacks you and or a planeswalker you control with one or more creatures, draw a card. Oh. Cameron. <laughs> you just disenchant it. Come yeah. on. Oh, wait, I'm playing green. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 you're good. Yeah, th these decks all come with a, a Rex Age, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Your turn. All right. We've got plays for days. I'm going to play a forest, and I'm going to. Play my commander. Mm -hmm. Rar. Cats on the battlefield. It's a big cat. Meow. I like big cats. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. Mm. I feel very left out uh, not playing my commander. Mm -hmm. So I will also join you all and play Kalia. Isn't this one Wait, super all? spooky? Uh, it's not a big deal. What happens when it attacks? Uh, yeah. You may put an angel or a demon or a dragon from your hand on the battlefield, tap and attack, and then opponents on the negative of the deal. Pass. Okay, and it's a 2 2? Yes, it's all fine. Right. Yeah, huh. yeah, yeah, huh. yeah, 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 yeah. You said that real fast. It's innocent. Yeah, okay. Uh, draw step. I will play a mountain. I will tap four mana of a multitude of colors. I'm going to blitz in this solemn simulacrum. Ooh. Enters the battlefield, I get to get a land. I will grab a black, black, this red, red, green. I guess I'll grab a mountain. Writes down triple red pip. <laughs> mm. Fire emancipation. I will go to combat. I will send. Can attack Cameron. Yeah, you can. Well, I could. <sighs> yeah, sure. I'll send Solemn Simulacrum at Voxy, and I will send. Henzi at Cameron. All right. So I, I will draw a card. Yeah, you get to draw a card. I will take two. Okay. And how much commander damage is that for you? Three. Cameron? Three. Ooh. And then I go to my end step and I have to sacrifice Solemn Sim Simulacrum. I draw a card off the Blitz trigger and a card off of Solemn Simulacrum's trigger. It's really good. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go to cleanup. <laughs> I guess I'll discard this Ash Barons. Go ahead, Cameron. All right. Untap, draw, planes, Aura Gnarled. Uh, it's 2-2, two, two. creature's power less than Aura Gnarled's power can't block it. Aura Gnarled gets plus one, plus one for each Aura on the battlefield. Which is currently zero. Currently. Probably always going to be zero. Anyway, your turn. All right, I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna draw, and then I'm gonna play an Oreskos Explorer. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for up to X planes cards, where X is the number of players who control more lands than you. Reveal those cards, put them into my hand, then shuffle my library. That's two players who control more land than me. Mm -hmm. Ramp, ramp, <laughs> ramp. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. So. Two planes. Finally, glad we're rectifying your mana deficiency here. Yeah. At long last, Kathleen can play things. <laughs> I don't always get to play things, but when I do, they're cats. It's a big cat. As someone who literally owns two large cats, mm -hmm. they are problematic, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> big cats are a problem. La problema. And that's your problem there. <laughs> Got a big cat. Cats are never a problem. They're perfect. Agreed. In every way. Except that cat. That yeah. cat is a big That's problem. Right. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. cat sucks. What could that cat possibly be doing? I'm going to play a land. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to declare cat attacks. Yeah. Um, I'm going to attack Adam because he keeps talking about how threatening I am. <laughs> yeah, you sure can. Yeah, I take five. Ouch. Meow. Go ahead. Untap. 
draw, play a mountain, and I'm going to go to combat. Uh oh. <laughs> and I think that Kathleen is the scariest person currently. That's fair. I also have the most life. Well, I'm also a vindictive, so Adam hit me earlier, so I'm gonna yeah. <laughs> go to combat and swing Kalia, and I'm gonna bring in the Angelic Arbiter. Oh, jeez. It is a 5-6. Okay, and it's attacking me? It has to attack you because of your little play attack. Jeez. <laughs> Each opponent that casts a, who casts a spell that turn can attack with creatures. Each opponent who attacked with a creature this turn can't. That's miserable. All right, I'm taking seven. <laughs> Ouch. And I'm going to pass. Untap. Draw step. Okay. I'll play a Savage Lands tapped, and then I will tap five. I will blitz in a Noxious Gear Hulk. I will blow up the five six. Oh. Well. Attempt to blow up the five six. Yeah, attempt is a better word, yeah. I think. Ah. Uh, because I don't really think that's going to fly with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and tap two. And yep. I'm going to play Bathe in Light. And I'm going to give my creatures and each other creature that shares a color with it, gaining protection from black. Okay. Yep. Well, I can't attack now. So I will go to my end step. I will sack the Noxious Gear Hulk and I will draw a card. The Noxious Gear Hulk just hit the table and was like, Father, why? Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, Cameron. Papa. Papa. <laughs> All right, another planes, and I had a plan. Can anyone deal with this? Because <laughs> I can't anymore. I don't know why you're asking me. I am going to cast my commander, Estrid, the mast. How's it going, Estrid? And I am going to minus one her directly out of the gate to put totem armor, a mask on my Orignarlid. It's now a three three with totem armor. That's it. Your turn. So now I have to I have to decide do I want to cast creatures or do I want violence? Yeah. Well. Isn't there a cat meme exactly for this decision? Yeah, exactly. I can play uh forest. So I don't have any way of dealing with Voxy's angel mm -hmm. other than dealing with Voxy. So I'm going to attack her with uh Arabo and the Arescos explorer. Oh. Yeah. Let's just read my car, my commander one more time. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if Arabo is anywhere in the game, uh, another target cat you control gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. This is a five, five. Yeah. And whenever another cat you control attacks, you may play, you may pay another three. And if you do, it gains trample and gets plus X, plus X until end of turn where X is its power. I can't cast any creatures because I chose to attack. So I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to bump my explorer so it's a 10 10 trample what the? okay mm. remember when i hit you earlier just for because yeah. you I'm, i take it i back. hit you for two <laughs> i hit you for two damage i am just gonna point out that i hit you for two damage with a solemn simulacrum well now we're even so now you know it's back to you know yeah, yeah. there's a lot of big creatures on the board and i don't like it i take all the damage that's 15 damage yeah. jesus <laughs> This is going to be a quick one. All right. All <laughs> We're right. all just swinging haymakers. Why well, can't do anything else? Pass the turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, I'm going to tap four. And I'm going to play Congregate. And uh -oh. I'm going to target me. Wait. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Huh. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve life. Yeah, we took three. <laughs> that doesn't seem so unfair now, does yeah. it? Think of what would have happened if I hadn't have attacked you for 15. People would have been mad at you because you just gained a ton of life. That's true. <laughs> mm, that's true. Well, I wasn't planning on using that then, but it seemed the appropriate time. Uh, and then I will untap. I would like to attack and cast spells in the same turn. Yeah, I didn't realize how much I enjoy casting spells and attacking mm -hmm. in the same turn until it's it was taken away. It's been taken away from me and I don't yeah. like it. I'm going to play the Baron Moor, Enters Tapped. And I'm going to go to combat. This is also a problem, by the way, table. And, well, you would think that. Oh, do you not have? Oh, okay. Yeah. Cards in hand. Three. 
Aha. Aha. Writes down no creatures. Writes down no angels. There are some there are some things in here. They are not an angel or a demon or a dragon, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go to combat. And Kathleen? Yeah, that's fair. Coming at you. All right. I take seven. Yeah. And that is my turn. Okay. Okay. I untap. I draw for the turn. I play a Blighted Woodland. Um, See, so the thing is, is Blitz wants me to attack people, but I don't want to make anybody mad. So that's, this is the problem. <laughs> I can't attack Cameron. Well, I could. You could. You could, in I theory. Could. In theory, I could attack. No, I can't even do that. I can either cast a spell or I get to attack. So if I'm understanding this board state correctly, Cameron, does Voxy's Angel ruin Adam's entire deck? Yeah, it totally turns my whole deck off. <laughs> well, it's a real blitz kill. Yeah, it's a real blitz kill. Uh, I like it. Yeah, I am not a huge fan. Does to removal. Shut up, Cameron. <laughs> Shut up. Why don't you come over here and do something about it? No, I'm good. Uh, okay, I'm going to tap the Savage Lands for red. That's five mana. I'm going to cast... Reign of Riches. It's a five mana enchantment, three red red. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, create two treasure tokens. Uh, the first spell you cast each turn, that mana from a treasure was spent on it has Cascade. I will sack the two treasures for green mana, and I'm going to blitz in a Thrag Tusk. Ooh. Ooh. That counts as casting, right? Sick. I cast it with a uh, treasure token, so I get to Cascade. We are looking for, oh, what did I get? I got a glittering stockpile. Add one red, put a stash counter on glittering stockpile sacket, and then I can add X mana of any color, where X is the number of stash counters on glittering stockpile. And I can attack. Why not? <laughs> Someone played a super cool angel. It's <laughs> making it real fun. So I go to my end step. I have to sacrifice Thrag Tusk. Inside was a smaller pig. Yeah, inside Thrag Tusk was a tiny pig. There are two pigs inside us all. Yes. And I draw a card. Go ahead, Cameron. I believe they're feral hogs. Inside of us are 40 to 50 feral hogs. <laughs> wow. I'm After bursting lunch. at the seams. Yeah. I'm bursting at the seams with hogs. Where do you buy your pants? <laughs> <laughs> Old Navy. <laughs> Hog approved. Yeah. Yeah. Hog wit. Yeah. <laughs> They keep telling them to stop asking me that question, but they keep asking. I suppose I could start masking my lands. That would have been smart. Holy moly. Mask up Selesnya Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. All right, baby, it's turn seven and we're, we're ramping. Um, That's fun, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, this is great. Ravenous Slime. Ravenous Slime can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. If a creature an opponent controls would die, instead exile it and put a number of plus 1 plus 1 counters equal to that creature's power on Ravenous Slime. Doesn't I just turn off Blitz 2? <laughs> what is well, this? Blitz was already turned off, okay? I'm just saying... No, that extra... Now we can't even draw the card off of it. Look, all I'm saying is that as long as Blitz is completely deactivated by... Voxy. It's not deactivate, I just can't attack with it. At least I get to draw my cards. There is no harm <laughs> in letting me have a little slime. So who is the real villain here? Both, all of like you are. I me, I'm just saying. And the only one. Yeah? Yeah, you're f Yeah. <laughs> Sick. <sighs> Kathleen, you may go. Excellent, thank you. Before I'm going to take my turn, I'm going to uh, sacrifice my Hedron Archive to draw two cards and uh, try and figure out what can be done. Is that a board wipe? Nope. <laughs> do you want me to board wipe? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. I am going to play an Opal Palace. I'm going to play a Spirit of the Hearth. It's a 4-5 flying cat spirit. I have Hexproof. Okay. That concludes my turn. Please go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Tap. Draw. Do you have the most stuff in your graveyard? <laughs> yeah, I do. I got three creatures and a land. Well, it doesn't matter, because I'm just going to bajuka bog it. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. All right. I needed to play win. Yeah. I would have a What am I supposed to do? I think flies, huh? It leapt high up in the air to get a fly. It did. I am going to go to combat. And I like spreading the love. So Cameron. Uh-huh. Should kill that planeswalker. I'm going to send Kali at the planeswalker and oh, come on. the angel at you. Oh, fine. Uh, Esther, draw a card. Yes, I do draw a card. Yeah. All right. Esther dies, and then I eat five. I don't really have a board wipe, but I have, like, an adjacent to it. <laughs> oh, yeah? What's that? Uh, Does it turn off Blitz, too? Or? No, it doesn't turn off Blitz, but I tap five, and I play Siphon Flesh. Okay. Each other player sacrifices a creature. I get a 2-2 black zombie for each creature sacrificed this way. Okay. That's not really... Hmm... I will sack this beast. Goodbye, I'm going explorer. to sacrifice the Oranarlid yeah. because of the sacrifice effect. The mask doesn't work. But uh, three other creatures died. Ravenous Slime eats all of the creatures that were just sacrificed. Yeah. I need to know their collective power. Kathleen. Two. Two? Uh, three. Three? Yeah. And Oranarlid uh, doesn't count. So five. Okay. Wow. That's a six six? That's yep. big. For now. Yeah. Currently. Currently. It's just a big donkey. Yeah, it is a big donkey. That's my turn. That's your turn? Okay, on your end step, I'm going to tap this glittering stockpile to add a charge counter to it. Oh, boy. Okay, untap. Draw step. I'm going to play this forest. Tap three lands. Uh, Cameron, I'm going to attempt mm -hmm. to chaos warp the slime. Oh, come on. It turns off everything I want to do. Resolves? <gasps> you get something out of it. I suppose I do. You might. I don't All mean, right. You got to so flip. Which one is this? I uh, shuffle it. Do I shuffle this in first? No, it's, uh, oh, yeah, it shuffles into your library. Yes. Okay. Oh, if you flip the slime, I'm quitting, you... by the way. Yeah, I'm just walking up. Promise? On... Yes. Yeah. Promise? I will concede on the spot. <laughs> Yeah, that is God sending a very clear message that I should not be here today. Okay, because you're, you're talking to a man who got a no information hit off of a cabal therapy. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm hoping that the slime is on top because so, it is. You know, it's been six years since that happened. So <laughs> you're I'm due, due for another win. Yeah, I'm due. I'm, I'm due for a lucky break. Come on, daddy needs a new Jace the Mind Sculptor. <clears throat> We could actually use a new Jace the Mind Sculptor. He's too expensive for modern. All right. All right. Flip All right. it. <laughs> it's a slime. Do you want to do it? No, you do. Do you want to do, do it? it. Are you do sure? It. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If I do it, it's cursed. Cold Eyed Selkie. Oh. Oh. What does it do? Uh, it's disconcerting. Um, Cold, El Cold Eyed Selkie is a merfolk rogue with Island Walk. Whenever Cold Eyed Selkie deals combat damage to a player, you may draw that many cards. Anybody else got islands? No. No, no islands. It's a sign that today's your day, Adam. <laughs> yeah. Selkie just like shrugs. What do you want from me? What do you want? I noticed you didn't chaos warp the angel. No, because that at least I can now I can at least cast creatures and draw cards off them to try to find answers, more answers for the angel. But that just turned off everything. Right. I'm going to blitz in a bellowing mauler. Uh, it's a 4-6. At the beginning of my end step, each player loses four life unless they sack a non-token creature. <gasps> uh, I will go to my end step. Each player either loses four life or sacrifices a non-token creature. Not my island walking selkie. I will lose four life. I will lose four life. All right. And then I sacrifice it and draw a card. All right. Uh, that's my turn. Go ahead, Cameron. All right. Bruna, Light of Alabaster. Flying Vigilance 5-5, five, five. whenever Bruna, Light of Alabaster, attacks or blocks, you may attach to it any number of auras on the battlefield, and you may put onto the battlefield attached to it any number of aura cards that could enchant it from your graveyard and or hand. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's big. It's a big flyer. Yeah, she's, she's a big. It's, it's a big angel. Big angel. A, I wish I had more I big angels. I wish I had a big angel, yeah. Than just the one. <laughs> I will take all the auras. Even the O-ring. Go. I get a play of planes. I get a tap two for Sword of the Animist. Mm -hmm. I get to put Sword of the Animist on my Spirit of the Hearth. I can't attack because I keep wanting to like cast spells. Let's go ahead. End of your turn. 
I'm gonna cycle this secluded steppy thing. No steppy. No steppy. <laughs> Please, no steppy. And tap. You have to ask before steppy. <laughs> I gotta kill that angel. Why? Because it's <laughs> it's gumming this game up. What are life totals? Twenty nine. Thirty two. Thirty three. Okay. Why do you ask? Because I'm gonna tap eight. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm gonna play Avatar of Slaughter. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, all creatures have double strike and attack each turn of fable. <gasps> oh, that's bad. Wait, does this mean that I can cast spells and attack? Oh no, I can't. If able. If, if able. able. And then I'm gonna go to combat. Yeah. I do have to swing with everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So everybody gets a respective zombie. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna send, when I swing with Kalia, I do have one card left in my hand. It is Tariel. Who's Kalia attacking? Kalia is attacking, why? You have a flyer? I do. What is it? Five, five, Bruna. Oh, Bruna. Yeah. Kalia's attacking you. Okay, cool. And then the five, six is coming at you. Come and then on. everybody gets a respective zombie. Just cuz. Uh, okay. I will block the zombie with my commander and then take eight, I, 12. I draw a card off ever watching threshold. Yeah. Uh, Bruna blocks the zombie after taking one look at the big angel. So it's a 2-2 two, two double strike zombie? Yeah. I'm gonna block it with my commander. It's fair. All my zombies die. Yeah, and I take 12. And you took 10? 10. And I am out of things to do. Jazz hands, your turn. Okay, any board wipes? <laughs> Untap, draw, not a board wipe. I don't think anybody even knows if they have a board wipe in their deck. I think I do. I'm going to tap four, and I'm going to cast Death Reap Ritual. It's a four mana enchantment, and it has Morbid. At the beginning of each end step, if a creature died this turn, you may draw a card. That uh, seems good. Yeah, it's pretty good, but we have a lot of problems. <laughs> and I am a lonely Blitz deck. I'm going to tap three. I'm going to cast a Weathered Sentinels. It's a two-five with... Defender, Vigilance, Reach, and Trample. Oh. Um, oh. It can attack players who attacked you during their last or during their last turn as though it didn't have Defender. And then whenever it attacks, it gets plus three, plus three, and gains Indestructible. So if somebody attacks you, you can attack them back. Yes. Mm. I am going to tap this land for green and the Stockpile to add a charge counter. And I will cast Farseek. And I will grab a Swamp. And go ahead, Cameron. All right. Untap. Draw. I will cast Silent Sentinel. Flying. Whenever Silent Sentinel attacks, you may return target enchantment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Mm. I have cast a spell, therefore I cannot attack. Mm -hmm. I have no mouth yet. I must yeah. scream. I have no attacks, yet I must scoop. Yeah. Uh, go. I feel like it's somewhat unfair that uh, Voxy has the most creatures and the most life and the most death. Um, and I rolled, towards a, us. I rolled a 12 to start. That's true. Also. Oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. Declaration of intent. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Ah. So I can attack or I can cast spells, eh? If you don't cast spells, you do have to attack because it says it has to attack if able. Oh, all creatures have to attack yes. if able. All. Yep. That's incredibly rude. It is. <laughs> but I want to cast spells before I attack, so my creatures don't die. Yeah, it's a real Voxy's choice. Mm, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is exactly like that. Yeah. <laughs> so I choose not violence. I'm going to cast Kindred Summons, and I choose a creature type. Cat. Reveal cards from the top of my library until I reveal X creature cards of the chosen type, where X is the number of creatures you control of that type. All right, so I have two cats. And I'm about to have more cats. I will have four cats. Cat? The cats are cat? going at a geometric pace. Oh, crushing vines, no! <laughs> uh, cat? Cat? Will you have four cats? I don't know. I don't know. Or all the cats. Hey! Yeah, cat. All right. Ooh, hey, a giant cat. Uh, this is Jareth Leonin Titan. 
Uh, whenever Jareth, Leon, and Titan blocks, it gets plus seven, plus seven until end of turn. Yeah. Oh. That's one cat. And How many get... cats are you running? You know what? Not enough. Kemba, Car Regent. They, these are good cats, though. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a 2-2 two, two white cat creature token for each equipment attached to Kemba, Car Regent. That's exciting. I'm opting not to move my equipment. I'm actually going to cast, with my last two mana, a Leonin Relic Warder. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile target artifact or enchantment. I'm going to exile... Your dark steel ingot. Oh, okay. Where does it go? It, it, it just sort of, it's sort it's of like an O-ring. Yeah, it O-rings your ingot. Yeah. Okay. You can have it back once Leon and Relic Warder heroically chump blocks some sort of eight eight <laughs> thing <laughs> with Devil Strike, uh, and these all get shuffled into my library. Go ahead, Voxy. Okay. Ah, the loading screen of Magic: The Gathering. Yeah. Um. Draw for turn. Yeah. I should do that. Draw. <laughs> that is some beefy jeefy on the other end of the battlefield. Like IRL, I have giant cats. So I think it's very funny that I have now giant cats here. Now you have, you got big cats on the battlefield. You got big cats at home. You know what they say about having big cats at home? No. Buy more litter. Yeah. <laughs> big litter box. <laughs> yeah. mm. I'm going to go to combat. Attack through my wall of hairballs. You have, everybody has a flyer, correct? Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everything is coming at Kathleen. Oh, that's uh, so unfortunate. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of creatures. Leon and Relic Warder is going to get in front of Avatar of Slaughter. Spirit of the Hearth is going to block the Angelic Arbiter because I would like it to get off the battlefield. Those are the blocks I am going to make, which should have me taking 12, which means I'm not dead yet. Not dead yet. <laughs> that's <laughs> ominous. <laughs> not dead yet. Well, I mean, we're all going to die. Yeah, that's Someday. true, actually, yeah. Everyone dies, Adam. Yeah. 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 This lean and relic water just, like, absolutely gets pulverized. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get this back? It means you get that back. All right. And then we trade here. We trade there. Look at that, Adam. Look, I've done a oh, nice thanks. thing. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't sound very grateful to sound of a little you. Grateful. Yeah, geez. What? Well, said thanks. God. Thank you, Kathleen. I appreciate it. Hey, now that your debt can work again, yeah. give old Kathleen a hand. Yeah, I will. I'll you try. Know, go yeah. down to the SPCA <laughs> and adopt a vulnerable cat today. Yeah. Uh, pass. Okay. End step. Uh, I got a morbid trigger from Death Reap Ritual. I get to draw a card because a creature died this turn. Okay, untap. With a lot of mana. Draw step. Remember, your creatures have to attack this turn. You can do spells and attack now. Such luxuries. <laughs> the evil has been defeated. The evil has been defeated. Uh, okay, I'm going to put this temple of Milady. The battlefield tapped, I get to scry one. Don't want that. Do Tips hat to that. bottom of library. Yeah. <laughs> Tips hat right to the bottom. And then I am going to sack the glittering stockpile for three green mana, I guess. And then I will tap an additional three to blitz in a tree shaker chimera. And since I use treasure to cast it, it has cascade. With the stockpile. Mm. Uh, we got... Oh, look. Does that work? No, oh, it's nine mana. Dinger. <laughs> no, Blasphemous Act. No, Artisan of Kozilek. <laughs> Come on, man. Dodgy Jalopy? <laughs> <laughs> IDK, man. Sounds like a skill gap. What is this? Do you want this huge Aldrazi? No, I'll take the crap. Do you want card. this board white? <laughs> Do you want this cool, big Aldrazi? No. But you got a free jalopy, though. They yeah, had a Riverdale. I mean... <laughs> God. <laughs> Game stinks. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I think I want to cast this. I will also blitz out for three mana. 
a wave of rats. It's a 4-2 with trample. When it deals combat damage to a player, I return it to the battlefield ta or under my control. Oh. Okay, well, all my creatures have to attack. Uh, combat. Cameron, I will send the rats at you. Okay. Kathleen, I'm sending the Chimera at you. What? Why? Uh, because I get the most value out of the blocks. <laughs> And then, Voxy, I'm sending my commander at you. So, Kathleen, everything that can block this has to. And Cameron, this is a 4-2 with Trample and Double okay. Strike. And Voxy, this is a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, no. I stomp the rat. I block with Tariel. I, I block with Silent Sentinel. All Kathleen stuff has to block. Right. Well, this gets plus 7, plus 7, so it's an 11-14. Well, I'll order... I'll just kill the commander. And then that's rude to a cat. Yeah, that's it. And then Cameron, you take no nope. blocking. Okay. Yeah, I block. So okay, so you take no damage. And then Voxy blocks my commander, who dies. So this dies. And this dies. But when it dies, I draw three cards. Also, all your blitz creatures. Death trigger. Well, I get two, two cards off the blitz creatures. I guess I will tap four mana and I will cast this Grime Gorger. It's a four mana, three, three with menace. When it attacks, exile up to one card of each card type from defending player's graveyard. Put a plus one, plus one counter on Grim Gorger or Grime Gorger for each card exiled this way. Wow. And that is my uh, turn. Right. Oh, yeah. The big angel's gone. Yeah. It is gone. End step. I have a morbid trigger, a draw card. Go ahead, Cameron. All right. Things just got very exciting. Everybody can do whatever they want, except you have to attack. You don't get free will there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I am going to attack Voxy ah. with Bruna, Light of Alabaster, and the Silent Sentinel. Silent Sentinel attacks, so I return Soul Snare to the battlefield. What is the Silent Sentinel's power toughness? 4-6, and Bruna is a 5-5. Five, five. I can move any number of auras on the battlefield, and you may onto her. So I'm going to move the mask from Selesnia Sanctuary to Bruna. What is that? It's like 10. Uh, it's 918 with double strike. <laughs> I brought this on myself. This is my own fault. Bruna's 5-5? Five five? Bruna's a 5-5. Five five. All right, I think Tarel is going to block Bruna. Um, I have an effect. Okay. I would like to cast Ep Epic Proportions. Oh. Um, Flash, enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus five, plus five, and has trample. Ooh. Okay. Um, so Bruna is a 10 10 trample. Yup. Double strike trample. Yup. <laughs> Seven of that is blocked, <laughs> thankfully. Okay. Uh, in response, I am going to tap Tariel and I'm going to a card at random from your graveyard, a creature card. Oh. At random. Hey, exile? Or you what? Choose a creature card at random from target opponent's screen. Oh, Put that card geez. under your control. Okay, well... Uh, You've been blitzing things. Yeah, so, you I know. have been. Too bad you bajuka bogged me earlier. I know, but I, there's an A5 in there that I kind of want. I can't believe you just put it on the... I should have read the rest of that card. Jeez. All right. Middle. It's rats. Ah, rats. 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 Oh, you got a 4 2. Trample. Oh, great. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Um, and then 10, double strike, 20. Seven blocked, 13. Yeah, 21. Oh, I thought I was going to go in the single digits. Okay, I didn't. All right. Okay. I'm still in this. Terramorphic Expanse. I'm going to sack it, search for a basic, and pass the turn. End step. Morbid trigger. This avatar is actually kind of. Screwing me a little bit. Kind of what? Kind of, kind of what? Kind of ruining everything. It's a little problematic. Well, Kathleen has a creature yeah. that gets plus seven, plus seven yeah. whenever. It would have give it trample. Yeah, but you can give it trample. What am I even doing with my life? Why? How did I get here? I, I'm surrounded. All my creatures are cats, and yet I do not have enough cats. Mm -hmm. You're saying all my morning mantras. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna draw my card for the turn. Continue to contemplate my existence. And then I'm going to suit up Kemba with my Sword of the Animus. Yeah. 
<laughs> they all have to attack. Yeah. I'm going to give Jareth Leonin Titan protection from black. Yeah. Well, why? Then I'm going to attack Voxy. Sword of the Anima says, whatever equipped creature attacks, you may search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. So I'm first I'm going to do that. She's a 3-4 double strike, and he's an 8-7 double strike. <laughs> or a 4-7 double strike. They both have protection from black? No, he oh. has protection from black. She does not. Oh yeah, and also because Arabo is still present in the game, sort of technically in the command zone, uh, Jareth gets um, plus three, plus three, and has protection from black. Jareth doesn't need plus three, yeah. plus three protection from black. I am dead as a doornail. Stupid amiibo. Stupid avatar of slaughter. What did I do that for? <laughs> <laughs> Ruined everything. I die. All right. All right. Okay. I'm now prepared to die to Adam, I feel. Oh, I'm not. No, don't worry. I'm not killing anybody. Everybody loses double strike. Oh. Yeah, no more double strike. Now things only have single We're strike. We're free. Okay. Excellent. The evil is vanquished. Yeah. That's fair. I, right. I caused ruckus and then I died. <laughs> no, I like the speed in which this game is that's, that's you came fair. In yeah. and Avatar slaughter and then everybody died or you died and you're like, I oh died. no, wait. <laughs> my plan. Yeah. Okay, so Voxy died. I don't get my creature back, I don't think. It just goes exiled. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye, rats. Goodbye, Goodbye rats. rats. All right. Uh, no creatures died that turn, so I don't get to draw a card. I will untap. I will draw for the turn. I'm at 17. I'm in danger. Cameron, how big is the flyer? It's big, big, 10, right? 10 flying trample vigilance. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Flying With trample totem vigilance. Armor. Yeah. With totem armor, huh? But no more double strike. No more double strike. Yeah, I guess I will tap five. I will recast Henzi. I'm going to blitz in a Avenger of Sendikar. Oh! Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. Man, I'm so glad I'm dead right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I get ten plants. Uh, I play a land for the turn, trigger. They all get bigger. I will use one dice. They are all one twos. Uh huh. And then I will tap a green, and I will blitz in an overgrown battlement. <laughs> oh. I will tap the overgrown battlement and the extra land, and I will blitz in Kaldalar Guardian. And then I would like to choose violence. Yes. Cameron has a 10-10 trample. Mm. Yep. Not much I can do about that. Actually, before combat, I'm going to tap my commander and crew the dodgy jalopy. I forgot you had that. Yeah. And then I will uh, move to combat. The jalopy is a 7-5 with trample. Uh, and you were complaining about the jalopy. Yeah, it was. But that doesn't mean that I wasn't right. So I would like to point out that you don't have to choose violence right now because Roxy is dead. <laughs> Nah. All right. Uh, let's see here. Someone needs to take the violence throne. We got used to it, honestly. Yeah. 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 Cameron, I'm going to send these three at you. A 7-5, five. Five, a 5-5, five, five, and a 3-3 three, three that has an attack trigger. Okay. And then, Kathleen, I'm sending a 4-3 at you. I draw a card? Yeah. I take four. I'm going to exile uh, a land and a creature from your graveyard to put two plus one plus one counters on the Grind Gorger. Okay. I would like to uh, use Soul Snare yeah. to blow away the Avenger of Zendikar, exiling sure. it. Okay. Um, then Bruna will block the Grime Gorger. Sure. And you take uh, five. Five. Okay. Yeah. And Kathleen takes four. I take four. And then this dies. Mana cost four or greater. When uh, something with mana value four or greater dies, I get two one ones. Okay. With this creature. Citizens, assemble. And then we go to end step. I sack the Kaldaya Guardian because it's blitzing. I get two one ones. 
because of it. And then I draw a card. And I also sack the overgrown battlement, which I blitzed and draw a card. Morbid trigger, draw a card. And go ahead, Cameron. Cards right. in hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? Born lucky. <laughs> Blitz just replaces itself. Draw for the turn. Fertile ground on my Selesnia Sanctuary. It now generates an additional hip of mana um, of any one color. Mm -hmm. Finest hour. Mm -hmm. Exalted. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, if it's the first combat phase of the turn, untap that creature. After oh. this phase, there is an additional combat phase. Oh, unlucky. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I see the line. Hi, Bruna. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Bruna. Hi, Bruna. Bruna attacks Adam. Yep. I take 11. You, you, you do have a defender with Oh, yeah, I do. Reach. Yeah, I have to block it. Okay. So I get trampled over for six? Yes. Second combat step. Um, I can't quite do it. It takes Adam to one. But you can. I can send Kathleen home. <laughs> okay, Foxy let's do that. I can go for poutine. <laughs> yeah! All right. I attack Kathleen, Kathleen and then return Soul Snare to the battlefield with the Silent Sentinels trigger. And I go to the Nether Realm, I suppose. Yep. It's nice here. Yeah. They make moral combat there. Peaceful. Yeah. All right. Is it my turn? It's your turn. Okay. Then Jess. I untap. Or don't. Or don't. I can do whatever I want. I'm not the boss of you. I'm just a pissy ghost. <laughs> <laughs> just a. Uh... Oh, interesting. Okay. So no, not interesting. Well, that's kind of interesting. I'm going to tap for green, red, and a black. I'm going to cast Riveteer's Charm targeting Cameron. Uh, target opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker they control with the highest mana value among creatures and planeswalkers they control. Well, goodbye, Silent Sentinel. Okay, I will tap this for four, and I will blitz in an Atali. <laughs> Primal Storm. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> yeah. Rah. Come to the fun. Nether Realm, Cameron. It's nice here. <laughs> Come back. We have double striking yep. cats. <laughs> I. Exile Atali with Soul Snare. Okay, well, there's an attack trigger. So, ever watching Threshold? Yes. I draw a card. Yes. Then Atali trigger goes on stack. What the hell is that? I don't know, but I get to cast it. Tuvasa the Sunlit. Uh, Tuvasa the Sunlit gets plus one, plus one for each enchantment you control. Whenever you cast your first enchantment spell each turn, draw a card. Wow, that's pretty good, Cameron. There's an enchantress in here? Yeah. There was. There was. There was. Now yeah. it's on Adam's board. Yeah, now it's mine. <laughs> well, that okay. would have been really good. So you're going to exile a Tali. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, using Soul Snare. Yeah. I'll block the 3-3. Three, three. Okay. So my commander dies and you take 14. Yep. And then I think I'm dead. Can I kill that creature? It has a war. It has a token thing? or a... Yeah, it's got a totem thingamajig. Armor. It's got totem armor. Yep. Yeah, I think I'm just dead. Go to my end step. Did I blitz anything? No, I totally got exiled. So I draw a card off Death Reef Ritual. Damn. Yeah. And then I die. But go ahead, Cameron. He yeah. might not see the line. <laughs> maybe Cameron doesn't see yeah, it. Yeah, maybe I might skip through my attack step. It's mm -hmm. happened before. Um, F6. Okay. Yeah, I could F6. I put a planes into play. I attack with Bruna. Uh huh. Before damage, uh -huh. I flash in Boon Satyr. Okay, yeah. And uh, then I die. Yeah, I believe you die. Yes. All right. GG's. Yeah. Great. <laughs> right. Well, that was honestly extremely efficient. Voxy, come back anytime. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, sick. That sped the game up completely. Wow. Avatar slaughter, hey? Yeah. yeah no, sleep He's very up. angry. Yeah. Well, I think that's settled it. If you want to make friends fast, what you need is an avatar of slaughter. And the best place to get that? Why none other than CardKingdom.com, a constitutional monarchy of cards. They're paying to sponsor the show, but they're not paying me to say that. In fact, they'd rather I didn't. And speaking of things that we rather you didn't, no, that's bad. <laughs>
<laughs> since we talked about Patreon. Why not head over to patreon.com slash loading ready run where you can support me and all of my endeavors and also all of the other people who work here, uh, such as Paul and Wheeler who are helping us record this episode. Uh, if you have anything you want to say about this episode, go down and bongle the dongle in the YouTube comments and leave a super like, which is a apparently a thing now. Eh, there's so many ways to give us money, including store.loadingreadyred.com where you can buy cool sleeves. I think that concludes our sponsor content. And I want to say thank you, everybody. And especially thank you to Voxy for coming and joining us here. This has been Elder Dragon Social Club. Bye, everybody.